After delayed vote and public hearings, the city of Kinston has decided to accept the donation of the Woodman Community Center. It's a story you saw first on WNCT.com. Our Brandon Truitt was at that meeting, and Brandon, you say there was a lot at stake for the city. Angie, Nine on Your Side has done several investigations into the financial workings of the Woodman Community Center. Now, records show the center's finances to be all over the map the past few years. And tonight's vote decided if the city wanted to take the donation of the Woodman, making it its own. Mr. Swenson? Yes. Mr. Aiken? Yes. Mr. Tyson? Yes. Ms. Suggs? Yes. And with that, the city of Kinston officially accepts the donation of the Woodman Community Center. It was a four to one vote. Mayor Pro Tem Felicia Solomon, the only member voting no. I'm voting no because this vote is not whether or not the Woodman Center should close, but the vote is if we should take the gift. The Woodman Foundation was in a contract with Lenore County and Kinston. The agreement required both parties to invest half a million dollars with the center's promise to operate for the next 30 years. That was in 2012. Today's vote makes the contract void. The Woodman Center is now an entity of the city. We're very grateful and thankful for the city's efforts and the operation of the facility today. Uh, it is a beautiful, world-class and valuable facility. A nine on your side investigation showed the Woodman was experiencing financial whiplash. It was that uncertainty worrying some people enough to speak out at the meeting, while others saw an opportunity. After examining all the facts, I believe the following to be true. One, it's impossible for the city to operate the center without the use of taxpayer dollars. And I still stand in support of the council taking over the Woodman Center because it gives our students opportunities. And as someone who serves children every day, someone who grew up in this community, why would we take that from our children? Kinston City Manager Tony Sears says no taxpayer money will be needed to keep the facility running. In all, the Woodman Foundation will be paying off more than $9 million still owed to the center. And the city has just over a month to officially change the facility's name. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.